Oh, there's a guy with, with two guys on the road. Okay. What's that? Okay. Alright, after some ammo being moved to trader level 4, we have to identify what rounds can replace the rounds that are nerfed. Let me reiterate that all the prices do not include laser and optic as they're all personal preference. You can pause the video if the build's going by too fast or join the discord and check the gun builds channel, link somewhere down below. Starting with the biggest elephant, 762 BP. SP6 isn't quest locked and has practically the same stats as 762 BP. However, the downside is that no matter how you build a bow, you won't be able to full auto laser mid range. Full auto is only usable at point blank to close ranges. Down to hallway and resort is the max distance you should be using full auto which isn't that bad. Stats wise, you can single fire in 2 tap class 4 pretty much all the way down to 200 meters. The drop is what's stopping you. Unfortunately, you have to be really careful fighting squads as you only have 20 rounders. Unless you want to pay 40k for a single mag. The barter is also around the same price. Here's the build, is around 110k depending on what the price of a Val is at any given moment. We're not buying the rotor off a of flea. We have the milk barter unlocked and milk is usually around 20k rubles. If you have gunsmith done, I don't. You can knock off a bit more recoil with the Taz adapter, with any grip you want. A lot of you are going to bug me about how I'm running the Val over VSS when VSS has one less recoil. I can already hear your keyboard going off in the comment section. The Val has a better convergence stat which makes his recoil lower in practice despite the number in game. However, the VSS is a great budget option. Because of the recent scav durability change, you'll see a lot of repairable VSSs on market for dirt cheap. If you mostly single fire, you shouldn't malfunction often. But you do need to adapt your playstyle to minimize dying to a weapon jam. Now on to M80. We have two calibers. 7.6-54 MMR and 3.66. Their playstyles are vastly different. M80 weapons like the SR25, SCAR, MDR were all broken. They slung a sniper round with ergo that was too high and recoil that was too low. So you can do both. Sniping and barrel stuffing. Unfortunately, similar to what happened in 9mm, Nikita has nerfed around instead of the guns. So if you like sniping, then your best choice is to run an SVD. It's heavy and low ergo, but follow-up shots are easily doable, especially when the round you're shooting is better than 762 by 51 LPS and PS both have higher damage and pen relative to M80 and M62. You may think it doesn't make a difference, because both will kill in 2 thorax. But that only applies to weaker rounds like 762 BP. With a round like PS, your damage is so high you can 2 tap a guy by tapping their thorax once and a limb once. This is because the round gets their thorax health so low, any bleed over damage on the limb will execute. The same can't be said about M80 and M62. The biggest downside to an SVD is its low ergo and small mags. It makes fighting close range difficult. ADS speed is really slow, so you're forced to point fire, but if you point fire and spray, your 10 round mags makes it difficult to take out more than one target. You could go for 20 rounders, but you have to sell your liver if you don't have proper 4. Here's the build and cost, which is pretty expensive compared to previous builds. Adding a suppressor kills ergo and increases cost even more, so it's up to you how you want to play. Did they see you? Oh, Did I see you? their feet. They don't see us. Not yet. I have one mag. Oh, they're coming. If you were the type to barrel stuff people with an SR25, you can emulate the experience with a VPO, running 366 AP. The recoil is higher, but it shouldn't be that big of a difference if you're barrel stuffing. This handguard is meta at level 3 traders, but dirt cheap on market, I'll explain later in the video. The entire gun is pretty cheap coming in at about 100k flat. You have dirt cheap 30 rounders with 1 tap potential on thorax if they have armor lower than class 4, or a class 4 that's a little bit tagged up. Back of furniture! Kill one? Sorry? Yeah, I killed one. Don't know how many more. What the fuck? You were just killing? Are you actually shooting something? Just... Yeah, it's just dead body. Oh, Ollie? Oh, um, Ollie, yeah. He's right side. Right? I'm dead, there's two. Really? There's two, yeah. Are they both right? Uh, uh one right, one left. Killed one? I see him. I see him. From level 3 traders, SS190, 45 ACP AP, AP 6.3, 9x21 BT and PS are either gone from trader level 3, gone from traders forever, or so overpriced they're not even worth shooting at all. So all the SMGs are done for, except for one. As of this moment, Subsonic SX can be had from Mechanic 3 at 400 rounds per reset, along with FMJ SX from Peacekeeper 3 at 190 rounds per reset. Both of these rounds are either equal to or higher than all of the previous rounds mentioned in pen and 30 rounders are unlocked at Mechanic 3, so it's the perfect time to MP7. After armor availability nerfs, the majority of the population has no accessible armor to block these rounds. Even if you somehow can't headshot with a no recoil 950 RPM SMG, 
you'll shred them. Here's the build, very simple, throw a suppressor on it and that's it. If you're running the tan one, you can add a grip, but it's mostly just for looks anyway. I don't notice the difference when I fire the two, so I prefer the black one because it's cheaper. Our suppressor isn't unlocked yet, so it's bank breaking off the market, but the rest of the guns are cheap and you don't need to pay for an optic if you run front irons like I do, so it evens out. Oh, there's a guy with, with two guys on the road. Where's What's that? Push it. One more, one more, one more, one more. Push it, push it. Dead, 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 dead. Moving on to builds for rounds that are still relevant from Trader Level 2. 856A1 has G36 and Scar. I didn't mention the G36 last time even though it was possible to build it because most of the higher end suppressors screw onto a muzzle that isn't available at Trader Level 2. And having a higher end suppressor is pretty noticeable on the G36. At Trader Level 3 we have these guys. You can buy the respective suppressors off of market. I run the 2 vent handguard with an ergo focus grip. It seems a little expensive until you realize it's basically a budget M4 but easier to control than any M4 you can build at the same price. For an in-depth G36 guide, I have one from last wipe. The only difference is that now we have more suppressor options this wipe, which are all about the same anyway, just pay attention to market for costs. For our scar, we have the M-lock rail, and we probably have the rubles by now to maintain a sometimes slightly more expensive suppressor, the RC2, for a decent ergo increase. And the total costs haven't increased by much if at all. For our AK-103, we have a new everything. It's practically a different gun. The recoil is super nice at 65. I used to love shooting this guy previous wipes before the RD came out. The reason why this handguard is so cheap is because all the Timmies can't use it. As it doesn't work with the default gas tube, you have to buy the VDMCS from Peacekeeper 3. And there are more Timmies than seasoned players at the moment, so they either don't have it unlocked or they don't understand how it works. I have an old video on this, you can enjoy it after if you want. For 545 or RPK build, unfortunately 545 has been phased out. You should have 856A1 unlocked and that's just 545 with more damage. But if you have to shoot 545, we have the RRD4C tip unlocked and it doesn't work with an RPK. So run the 74s and level your rifle skill. By now you should have enough gunsmith done to buy the butt pad. The recoil on this gun is very manageable, you don't need to upgrade the stock at all. Anything more than a butt pad is a waste of rubles. Now those are all the builds, and there's something you may have noticed. All my Russian weapon builds, AKs, VALs, RPKs, they're all missing a charging handle. 3 ergo for 6k rubles is worth it, but I forget to add this guy half the time and my guns don't feel any different. And that's because my Russian builds are either unsuppressed with so much ergo it doesn't matter, or it has so little ergo adding it won't help. Add it on if the placebo helps, 6k rubles is nothing anyway. Like the video if my gun builds help, sub with bell for future gun builds and guides, find me on Twitch here, discord down below, thanks for watching. I got one? Nice, thanks. The other guy. Yeah. It's taking 4x, 4x is always 0. Alright, he's dead. Oh, nice, nice, nice. nice. <laughs>